It was once the largest city in the Western Hemisphere. The history, origins, power, and decline remain unknown in modern society. At one point, it was the home to up to a half million people and had a huge urban core. Just like every civilization on Earth, the decline was swift. In fact, it was so fast of a decline that they could not even document their collapse. But they never documented their rise to power either. And get this, there is no evidence whatsoever that they had any sort of ruler or government. So who was calling the shots? Who masterminded the construction? Was it aliens? There are certain mysterious things about Teotihuacan that experts the world over agree. It is more than baffling. Wait till you hear this. There are astonishing similarities between the Great Pyramid at Giza and the Sun Pyramid at Teotihuacan. The Pyramid of the Sun is exactly half as tall as the Pyramid of Giza, and the Temple of the Sun, the Temple of the Moon, and the Temple of Quetzalcoatl are in the same layout as Orion's Belt, exactly the same layout as the pyramids at Giza. Every building at Teotihuacan has mica embedded in the building work. The most local source of mica is found no less than 3,000 miles away in Brazil. Mica is stable when exposed to electricity, light, moisture, and extreme temperatures. It has superior electrical properties as an insulator and as a dielectric and can support an electrostatic field while dissipating minimal energy in the form of heat and is thermally stable at 500 Celsius. The fact there is no local source of mica and the fact that they imported it from so far away is just mind-boggling. How was this done? Why was this done? Now, if we were to point out the fact that Teotihuacan resembles a giant circuit board, you would say that we were crazy, but it does. With two large processor chips, the Sun Pyramid and the Moon Pyramid, and the underground channels that link the Pyramid City are lined with electrical insulator. Crazy, right? But what if it is true? What if this is a place that an alien civilization chose to leave a massive map for future civilizations to build the foundation for a computer circuit board? What if these types of sites across the globe on every continent are somehow giant maps for us to build some sort of super technology? This would mean that almost every country in the world would have to cooperate with each other to build each piece of the board, then fit each piece together. Maybe it is the map to build the technology for an interstellar ship and the destination is Orion's belt. Maybe it is an invitation for civilizations on Earth that when we get past our indifferences on this world, we go to theirs. Another strange thing about this ancient site is the fact that it can only be truly appreciated from the sky. Much like other ancient sites like the Nazca Lines, for example, the layout is clearly for a higher purpose that we are struggling to even comprehend in modern times. Along the Avenue of the Dead, the pyramids there align in perfect distance of each of the orbits of our planets in our solar system. And perhaps most significant is the fact that the large pyramid of the Sun is positioned at the center of the other structures reflecting the fact that the sun is at the center of our solar system and that the planets revolve around it. We don't know why this ancient wonder was constructed. We don't know how it was even done. We are left to speculate its true purpose, but one thing is for sure, and that is the fact that there is much more to this place than we are yet to imagine. The answer could lie in the stars, the moon, or the sun, or maybe it is staring right at us and we cannot even see it because it is too obvious something along those lines anyway. Do you believe that the evidence just keeps stacking up in favor of the ancient world being much more advanced than we ever thought possible? We could even be underestimating the true age of these structures by many thousands of years. We would love to hear your thoughts. Comment below guys. Thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing to our channel.